Okay, let me show you how you can create a pipe like this one quite fast. This is not a random pipe. It follows a specific path starting here at the middle and ending here at the middle of this hole. And here you can see the curve I have created for creating the pipe. Let's create something similar on the other side. Okay, I create the line with shift A and the line has to start at the middle of this face. And you see, plasticity helps you with all the snapping points here. Starting here at the center, just click here and go to the side view. And again, plasticity will help you with the guides. You don't have to press shift or anything like this. It shows you how this line follows the direction of the normal of the center. You have clicked okay let's keep on clicking here maybe somewhere here i click along the x-axis and now if i look from the front view i want this to be centered here at the middle of this hole and again plasticity helps you showing you the snapping point for the center so you don't have to do anything else you don't have to click shift or control or whatever object snapping has to be enabled obviously and now we have our point here exactly aligned to the center and now I want to make some fillets so I have some roundings going on here so select these two BD. Now I pipe it. Pressing P. And here I can adjust the thickness. And I want this ending to be thicker than the beginning. So I can play with this parameter, scale. What happens if we type in 2? And I can give it an even bigger value. Let's say something like 4. 4 is too much. I will go with 3 and press OK. Next thing I would like to show is adding some details. Let's say we, I want here a zigzag shape. So if I go to face mode, select this face. And press Ctrl R for running the isoparam curve. And press tab for changing the UV direction. And add more loop cuts with shift wheel up or arrow up. Let's say I make something like this. And I do a similar thing here. Again in face mode select the face. Press Ctrl R. Tab for changing the UV direction. Shift wheel up for adding some cuts. And now I can select every other face. And without pressing anything else, with this offset face command, which pops up automatically when you select the face in face mode, just drag on this handle. And OK. With these faces selected, add further selections, pressing Shift, and add these ones as well. And now I want to fill it the edges here. So therefore, while these faces are selected, press Ctrl 2 for changing the face selection into an edge selection so ctrl 2 and now we can simply fillet it pressing b and d and if dragging along the handle gives you this arrow with overlapping blends no problem just type in the number here at the distance and give it a smaller value let's try something like 0.002 and this one works let's negotiate with plasticity 0.0025 it still works let's try 0.003 okay here plasticity gives us the finger so let's go back to 0 0.0025 press ok obviously i could have made the second isoparam curve thing i ran here according to the thickness of the first isoparam command i ran but for the sake of this tutorial i will leave it as it is Okay, now I'm back at the beginning of the video before I have built the curve. So let's do it again, but this time with rebuilding it. Let's create a line. Again, snapping to the center.
And again, make all these snapping things. I was somewhere here. Front view, snap it again to the center here, and I do it real time, guys. Here is no time lapping involved. Okay, now I have the main curve and I do my fine tuning. I guess I had something like this. This one can go further in. So if you want to lengthen this guy at the same direction, just run the extend command. So F, look for extend. Next step was filleting these. This time I will rebuild it and you will see the immense difference of the quality of the pipe if we pipe it in a minute first let's rebuild it run the rebuild command and here very important select the points method and give it a large point count something like 500 maybe 400 something like this the higher the count the more accurate it will remain more accurate in comparison to the original shape maybe this is an overkill i will go with 200 that's okay and look at the difference what will happen if we pipe it with this rebuilt version so let's press p and here you can already see there aren't any segments i will give it a similar thickness as in the first version and at the ending i will again make some experiments type in 3 3.2 yeah i guess 3.2 is okay and now look at the quality of the pipe and that's very important for the next step which is creating isoparam curves let's now go to face mode select this face and here you can see that we can select the whole face and i press ctrl r tap and i want here a division as you remember in the first version there was here another division created by plasticity itself because we hadn't rebuilt it but this time we can control our divisions ourselves so i want here a division and again select this divided segment Control r create a second one and i want the second one to be somewhere here and now i have isolated this face so to speak and now i can give this one a consistent set of isoparam circles so Control r again a third time again tap and now you can bump up the number with shift wheel up or since i'm working on a wacom i do it with the arrow keys now you can control the look you can control the thickness of each segment so now let's select every other face and without pressing anything else just offset face so drag along this handle and without deselecting the faces keep on adding these faces to your selection pressing shift and now the same we did at the first version press ctrl 2 for converting this face selection into an edge selection so ctrl 2 and now we can fill it i guess we had something like bd.0025 and now again we can make our experiment see how far we can go and this time we can give it even a bigger fillet yeah we can even go with 0.004 which looks okay let's turn off the edges and see how we are looking and i think that looks cool and i will say okay and before forgetting these two edges they also need to be filleted and just by rebuilding the curve you can see that we can achieve much more consistent and clean results just in case you are wondering what this weird engine type of looking thing is, let me clarify. It is a weird engine type of looking thing and it is a tiny detail of a much larger plasticity full length tutorial I'm working on currently, which contains much more weird type of looking things. So stay tuned. And if you can't get enough of my vacuum cleaner voice, you can go to the Gumroad link in the description to meet Botley, a robot which you can build in a 5 hour plasticity course packed with dozens of tips and tricks discussed here on my channel. Thanks and peace!